Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On this week's video, I went into my bins that I had organized a while back, the one that had all the bunnies that I've thrifted throughout the year, um, some Dollar Tree carrots that I got last year and did nothing with, and decided to marry a bunch of items in my stash together to get them into the booth. I worked at Angry Mamas on Monday. I'm noticing a lot of vendors are starting to get their bunnies out and customers were looking at them. So I decided to like, let's do this. And if you want to see what I came up with, stick around. Project number one is for my home. I'm embarrassed to say I had it before last Easter and did nothing with it and refound it when I cleaned out my stash. It is the last supper. Guys, I paid $1.29 for it and I realized it was from the dollar store. I overpaid, but you know what? This is for me. I'm going over this whole thing with two coats of apothecary from DIY paint. This is, I'm going to say my favorite color within our paint line and I have not used it in a super long time. So I got it back out today. It's very springy. It is an accent color I use in my home. So I'm going over this with the perfectionist brush from DIY, which has that nice little tip to get into all these little crevices. Make sure you turn it upside down with all these little crevices and make sure you get everything. After that was done, I went over the whole thing with clear wax. I could have used liquid patina or big top, but I knew I was going to white wax this, so I just stuck with wax products. Um, after the clear wax is on there, I went over it with white wax and then I wiped it back with paper towel. I love the look of this and what a cute little reminder to put on my tiered tray in the center of the island. In fact, when my nine-year-old got home from school, she confirmed which one Jesus was. So it is great for my space. Here's a reminder, grab stuff you already have, make it more your style and update your cozy home. In my last two videos, I had a project in each video where I showed you the power of white wax, and you know what? I'm gonna do it again. I bought each of these separately at the thrift store. I have tried to sell it in my booth as is, and it's not selling. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more my style. I had this nest and egg set and I thought it went perfectly with this but I didn't think the nest stood out well enough with that wood. So I'm just cutting off the excess wire. I'm going to hot glue the eggs into the nest and then I am going to update this little wood round. Now if you like it this way just do the first step which is adding the clear wax it brought back the wood so i mean like it turned it so gorgeous but it wasn't quite the tone i was going for so after doing the clear wax i went over it with white wax i made sure i did not touch the project with my bare fingers that's a little tip um, if you are doing white wax or a dark wax, protect the project from your oils on your fingers by holding the already wax spaces with a paper towel instead of your actual fingers. And then wipe it back and look at how the tone of this wood round changes and allows what's inside to stick out a little differently. So if you are not a white wax fan, just add some clear wax. Look at the beauty with that. Um, if you are a white wax fan, this really does update this project, makes it more my style specifically. I could be your style and it's so easy. Don't forget the little steps can add so much impact. So last year I had 
this big idea and went to the dollar store and I mean I didn't buy out the store by any means but I got two packs of these for a total of 10 of them and then I did nothing with them so I decided the orange was a little too orange I do like muted colors but you do not have to do this step I had already used white swan on something else and I had some paint on my brush so I'm just putting this brush in water to kind of water it down and do a paint wash over the yarn so you can see it just mutes it just a little bit and I pulled it up to the stem and then I just used my water mister on the lid to kind of add some more white to the ones that didn't quite change in tone the way that I wanted it to. And then I went through my stash. I had had this in my booth. It didn't sell with some floral in it. I got this for 25 cents at the thrift store. And I thought, you know what? This would be really cute. Instead of just adding eggs to everything, let's add some carrots. This is from the dollar store as well, this little moss. And with this one, I did not glue them in. I decided to go with odd numbers. That one had five, this one had three. I did go ahead and glue this guy in just so that they would make it to the register, okay? And then I found this other little piece in my stash. I think I paid 25 cents for him and thought how cute would these little bunnies hoarding these carrots look. So a really quick update to get some stuff out of my stash. How cute are these? Let me know in the comments below. Project number four is going to be a little collection of bird nests. I did this in a video in the past, but kept it and did not want to go to the thrift store to find more stuff. So I looked in my stash and thought, what else can I use for little bird nests? So I married these two pieces together, this little, I had tried to sell this with the bunny in it, but it really didn't make any sense. So I'm taking this bunny and the eggs out and updating it just a tad. First thing I'm gonna do is taking some air dry clay and just fashioning them into whatever size um, little tiny eggs I thought fit with the vessel. So this little thing right here, you see it says Heather on the background. I think I made this little ceramic piece in high school. I'm doing nothing with it. So it's gonna make the top little perch. I am gluing it with E6000 just to some glass. This, I'm just gonna keep glass, add some moss to it, and keep these little white eggs in here. I'm just gonna let it dry the natural color um, just for a little bit of variation. I did add these right here. I am going to paint apothecary and then do like a little splatter technique on the top with some mothered wood color just to have them be a little bit different. I am making a mess all over my hands, but guys, gosh, it feels so good to get back in that creative space and get your hands dirty. I am a messy creator. It's just who I am, and I love the DIY paint. You just go upstairs, you, you wash your hands, and you're good. So this one, I'm just adding some of this little fabric I got from Hobby Lobby, and then I added a little bit of greenery since it's a very neutral piece. That one is done. How cute are you? This one right here, after the glue was dry, I painted two coats of white swan. I then did a top coat of big top, and then hot glued everything together. So it was this cute little perch. I think these are precious. Got some stuff out of my stash. 
what do you guys think of this one? my fifth and final project this week I honestly was like why did I buy this this is such a mess I paid a dollar nine for this little tree it had some eggs on it and by the way my kids make fun of the way that I say eggs all the time and I don't even know what way is the right way anymore eggs eggs anyway sorry it's just I don't know my parents are from the Northeast I don't know where I got this um, I am cleaning this up it is a tangled mess these little guys are kind of cute I might have those be sold on here but look how much better the tree looked once I fixed it now I had a topiary in here before so I had glued some rocks down to the bottom so that it would stay upright and so now what I'm doing is I'm using hot glue for the temporary hold and E6000 for the permanent hold. Just getting this glued down here, then covering the tree up with a burlap ribbon that I have in my stash just to make it look a little bit more finished. Then I am adding this little set of burlap looking ornament eggs to this and thought somebody is totally gonna buy it if not maybe I can have it priced separately and um, pretty happy with how cute this is and I upcycled it Okay, so I got a bunch of items out of my stash and I'm excited about it. I'm ready to tag them, get them straight to my booth because customers are looking at the bunnies and you know what? Let's just get ready for spring. You know what I'm saying? And let's clean out my, my spaces and there's no reason to go to the Dollar Tree because guess what? I did all that shopping last year and I did nothing with it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite project was today, what you guys are working on for spring. If you missed my Monday video, 
I gave you a tour of my new booth space up at Soul Sisters in Dawsonville, Georgia. That is where I'm selling my IOD products in person. And then at the Angry Mama store in Cumming, Georgia, that is where I sell my DIY products and my JRV items. But lucky for you, all of those products are on my website at www.createyourowncozy.com. Guys, February has been an amazing online sales month and I just wanted to say thank you so much to you guys. Um, I know that you have choices about where you shop, especially online. And I am just so thankful that you are choosing to support my small business. I'm still trying to work out some of the kinks. If it looks like shipping is crazy and it charges you a crazy price, I will refund you the money if you pay $15 for shipping and it was only 10. I will refund you the difference. I'm still working out some of those kinks, um, but I am excited. <sighs> I'm excited about the future of my business. I feel like I, um, day two of Soul Sisters, I sold two molds and I was like, or IOD molds, and I was like, yes, like it feels like I'm in all the right spaces. I'm so excited. I cannot believe the level of excitement you guys have been communicating that about my step. Like I, I forget that you guys are rooting for me sometimes. Like I know it, but I've been talking about how much I love IOD for so long to hear some of the excitement that you guys are having because I finally get to be a stockist. Oh, it's just really cool to know that you guys are rooting for me. Oh, on that note, um, the other day I did do my, I'm allowed to tell you, I did my order for the IOD release. So that has been submitted. I cannot tell you when it will be made public, but trust me, as soon as I know, I will tell you. And guys, it is such an exciting release. Woo! It's a good one. So it's, I'm very excited. This is my first new release while I'm a stockist and it's a good one. So um, stay tuned for that. If you are new here, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell to all so you get notified every time I upload my regular videos and I surprise you with an extra. So um, I'm a little bit behind on my February project of my dining room. I do have samples up on the wall but I got the flu, so I'm about a week behind in my life. Um, but I'm back. My energy is getting better every every day. Every day, thank goodness. Um, because the kids are still going strong, so mama needs her energy back. So I am, that is still a project that I'm working on. I've got samples all over the wall, so you know it's driving me crazy. I need to get that done. Um, so stay tuned for that project, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.